welcome to the full combo tutorial on how to play Heroes for 2019. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. With the release of the brand new balance, I truly believe that this deck has a huge potential in this upcoming format. I've been playing this deck for quite a while now. In today's video, I'll showcase you guys a couple combos you guys can actually do with this deck. Some are more simple and some are more complex. And at the end of the day, I'll showcase you guys some test hands that you're actually able to draw with this deck and just basically combo off with the hand that I'm just giving. So hopefully you guys just enjoyed this video. All right, guys, I won't waste any more time without further ado. And let's get started with the combo video. And by the way, today is the last day to get your hero play mat. So this mat is finally being restocked for this weekend only. A lot of you guys have been requesting for this play mat to come back in stock after today. The play mat will no longer be available. So make sure you guys get your Stratos play mat today. Hit the link in the description box below at TX1.com. For this very first combo, I kind of want to showcase you guys a little bit more of a complex combo where I showcase you guys a two card combo with Mali and Ferris, but this time with the addition of El Material Stratos for when your opponent forces you to go first. This opening hand is absolutely ridiculous and there are so many ways to get access to malicious Ferris and also elementary hero straddles. We're gonna send Destiny Hero Malicious to the Graveyard to special summon Vision Hero Ferris, activate Ferris' ability to send Vision Hero Increase to the Spell and Trap card zone. And now what you wanna do is that you wanna activate Increase Effect, tribute the Ferris, a special summon Increase to special summon Vision Hero Vion directly from the deck. And now once Vion is special summon, you can activate Vion's ability to send Shadow Mist to the Graveyard. But once Shadow Mist hits the Graveyard, you're not gonna use Shadow Mist's effect because you wanna actually revive this card from the Grave so that way you can search Mass Change. So now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate Vision Hero Vion's ability. We're gonna banish uh, the Vision Hero Ferris from our Graveyard to add Polymerization directly from our deck to our hand. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna link away these two for extra hero Cross Crusader. Once Cross Crusader comes out, you're gonna activate Cross Crusader's ability to special summon back Destiny Hero Malicious from the graveyard. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate Cross Crusader's effect to tribute Malicious to search Solid Soldier directly from our deck to our hand. So now what we're gonna do is that since we haven't normal summon yet, we're gonna normal summon Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, activate Solid Soldier's effect when this card is normal summon. You basically get a special level four or lower hero monster from your hand. And since you have Straddles in your hand, you get a special summon Straddles. Once Straddles special summon, you get to use Straddles ability to search the Destiny Hero Plasma directly from your deck to your hand. So now what you do next is that you're gonna banish the Malicious from the graveyard, okay? To special summon the second copy of Destiny Hero Malicious directly from the deck. So now what you can do is that you can activate Polymerization. You're gonna fuse Malicious and also Solid Soldier to make the Vision Hero Adoration. Since Solid Soldier was sent to the graveyard off Polymerization, Solid Soldier will trigger off its effect to special summon a hero monster from the graveyard. So you're gonna be able to special summon Shadow Mist from the grave. Since you haven't used Shadow Mist's effect yet, you get to activate Shadow Mist's ability to search a mass change directly from your deck to your hand. So you search the mass change. So now what you can do is that you can banish the Malicious from the grave. Special with the third malicious directly from the deck, which is really good. So now what you can do is that you can tribute three monster to summon obviously Destiny Hero Plasma. So the monster I'm gonna tribute is obviously the Straddles, uh, the Cross Crusader, especially with Destiny Hero Plasma right here. So now this is your board right here. You can set uh, the mass change and then just basically end your turn. So this is the board that you have right now. So on your opponent's turn, you can actually flip uh, the mass change. Send Shadow Mist to the Graveyard to make Dark Law right here. And then since Shadow Mist is sent to the Graveyard, you can activate Shadow Mist's effect to basically search Elementary Hero Honest Neals directly from your deck to your hand. So that way that you actually have protection for Plasma and also Dark Law. So right now you have three really big beaters on the field. You have Dark Law, which prevents cards from going to the Graveyard. You also got Plasma, which is a walking skill drain on the field. And also at the same time, you have an Honest Neals in your hand to actually protect any of your uh, hero monsters from being destroyed by battle. So it's actually really hard for your opponent to actually get rid of this board unless they have cards at Dark Hole or Regeki or Super Polymerization. That's the only thing that this board will lose to. But other than that, this board has a very strong matchup against most decks and not a lot of decks can actually beat this, especially if you have Honest Neos in your hand. So the next combo is gonna be a one card OTK going second. And this combo is actually relatively really budget as well. So for those of you who don't have access to the evil hero stuff, this combo is definitely the combo for you. So I'll showcase you guys and how you can easily OTK with just Fusion Destiny going second. And this card is all you need. So what you wanna do is that you wanna activate Fusion Destiny. You're gonna dump, of course, this Destiny Hero Malicious and also Shadow Miss to the graveyard to special in the Destiny Hero Dangerous from your extra deck. Once Shadow Miss is sent to the graveyard, Shadow Miss is get its ability to basically search the Vision Hero Ferris 
directly from your deck to your hand. Now what you want to do is that you want to banish the malicious to special malicious directly from the deck. You're going to link those two away to make the extra hero Cross Crusader. Once Cross Crusader comes out, you're going to activate Cross Crusader's effect to special malicious back from the graveyard. So now what you do is that you're going to activate Cross Crusader Tribute Malicious. Add on this deals directly from your deck to your hand. You're going to banish the malicious from the grave to special the third manly directly from the deck, uh, which is really good. So now since you haven't tribute summon yet, you're going to tribute the malicious. To tribute summon into Ferris, Ferris will get its ability to set increase to the spawn trap card zone. Activate increase effect, tribute uh, Ferris to special summon region hero Vion. Once Vion is summoned, Vion is going to get its ability to basically dump the evil hero uh, Sinister Necrom directly from your deck to your grave. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to activate Vion's effect. You're going to banish, you're going to banish the Shadow Mist from the graveyard to search Polymerization directly from our deck to our hand. Now we're going to banish the Sinister Necrom from the graveyard to special summon the Malicious Edge directly from the deck. Now what we can do is that we can activate Polymerization to fuse Increase, Vion, and also Crusader. Send these three to the graveyard to make Vision Hero Trinity. So now you have Trinity and also Malicious Edge on the field. Uh, Trinity will become 5,000 and you also have uh, Honest Deals in your hand. You have Honest Deals in your hand to make this card 7,500. So if your opponent at least has two monsters with 3,500 or less attack, you basically just win the duel because this card can attack three times. If that's not enough damage, you still have Evil Hero Malicious Edge. So that's a one card whole TK that you guys can actually use with Fusion Destiny. And this combo is also very budget as well. You don't need to use a Dust or Gold. You didn't need to use Malicious Bay. The really wonderful thing about this card is that this card is very versatile and for this second fusion destiny combo i want to showcase you guys the exact same thing but instead of searching honest neos i'm going to be searching the straddles so we're going to activate uh, fusion destiny send shadow mist and also malicious to the graveyard and now we can activate shadow mist's effect we can add ferris now what we can do is that we can banish the malicious from the graveyard to special in the second manly from the deck and now what we're going to do is that we're going to link those two away into of course to make cross crusader okay once cross crusader comes out Cross Crusader is going to get its effect, especially in the Malicious, back from the graveyard. And now we're going to activate Cross Crusader to tribute Malicious. We get to add Straddles directly from our deck to our hand. Normal summon Straddles. Activate Straddles effect. We can search the Necrom directly from our deck to our hand. And now we can send Necrom to the graveyard. Special summon Vision Hero Ferris. Activate Ferris effect. Say increase. This is our board right now. Activate increase. Tribute the Straddles. Especially summon Vion. So for this certain situation, for my specific deck list, I don't play Dynatag or Celestio, but if you guys play those cards in your main deck, you guys can activate Violence Effect to send Celestio or Dynatag to the graveyard. Now what we can do is that we can activate Polymerization, fuse these three to make a Trinity, but it's all up to personal preference, right? If your opponent has monsters on the field, you're always going to make Trinity, but if your opponent doesn't have a lot of monsters, you can easily make Adoration instead. So you can make Trinity uh, in this scenario. Now you can activate Malicious, banish the second copy, especially the third copy. Uh, from the deck and then you can link these two away into a Dread Decimator and then since you have Necrom in the graveyard you can banish the Necrom okay special malicious edge and you have one two three four five six seven you have seven heroes in the graveyard so that means that all these guys will gain a 700 attack boost he does piercing he does piercing this card right here will be at 33 this card will be at 32 and this card will be at 57 which can attack three times on monsters if your opponent doesn't have lots of monsters it's not it doesn't make sense to go into trinity you can just make vision hero adoration ideally leave this because remember you use three monsters to make to make into trinity but instead you just use two monsters to make adoration and then keep the ferris on the field you'll still have one two three four five six and you have six monsters in the graveyard that means that these cards who each gain a 600 attack boost, which is really good. Your opponents have tons of monsters in the field. It kind of makes sense to go into this board over Trinity because Trinity can attack your opponents uh, directly. So for this specific example, I'm going to teach you guys on how to play with Super Poly without having to go into Cross Crusader. I understand that a lot of people may make this common mistake where you, if you use Super Poly, a lot of people try to go into Cross Crusader and you can't do that. So it's actually very important to know how to play without having to use Cross Crusader. So I'm going to use this example where I have Super Poly in my hand. If I have this hand right here, you can easily break a board of Colossus and also even Titan if they have double Colossus you can still break a double Colossus with ease with this hand right here so let's say that you're facing against this first you're going to activate Super Polymerization discarding uh, the Mali obviously fuse these two right here on your opponent's field you're going to make the Predator Plant Fusion now what you're going to do is that you're going to banish the Malicious from the graveyard especially them in the second copy of Malicious directly from the deck and now what you're going to do is that you're going to use Destiny Hero Malicious and also the Predator Plant link into the Wee Witch 
Apprentice. So you make Wee Witch Apprentice really important. You must make Wee Witch Apprentice before you use Ferris Effect because once you use Ferris Effect, you can't special any other monsters from your extra deck other than hero monsters, okay? So make sure you make Wee Witch Apprentice right off the bat by using the two dark monsters, one Manly and also the Predator Plant monster. So now what you do is that you're normal summon straddles, activate straddles effect. You're gonna add evil hero sinister necrom. You're gonna send the necrom to the graveyard, special summon Ferris, activate Ferris ability, so send vision hero increase to the spell and trap card zone. You're gonna tribute the straddles. The reason why you tribute straddles is because this card's a win. And right now, We Witch Apprentice gives all dark monsters a 500 attack boost. So you want to try to actually bring as much damage on the board as possible. So you just tribute straddles because it's a win. You don't want to sacrifice Ferris because Ferris right now is at 2100 attack. Activate increases ability to the special summon Vion directly from the deck. Once Vion is special summoned, you're going to activate Vion's ability to send Elemental Hero Shadow Mist from your deck to the graveyard. Once Shadow Mist gets sent to the graveyard, you're going to activate Shadow Mist's ability to basically search Evil Hero or Elsie Gold. You are going to banish the Shadow Mist from the graveyard to add Polymer polymerization directly from your deck to your hand. So now what you can do is that you can activate polymerization, fuse Vion, and also increase to make adoration. And now what you can do is that you can activate a Dust of Gold's effect, send it to the graveyard, uh, search Dark Calling directly from your deck to your hand, activate Dark Calling, banish the Dusted Gold, and also the Predator Plant Fusion to Special Summon Bane. And then what you can do next is you have Sinister Necrom in the graveyard, you can banish Necrom to Special Summon Evil Hero Malicious Edge. Uh, directly from the deck. Malicious Edge right now is at 31. Ferris is at 21. Adoration is at 33. And Malicious Bane is at 35 right now. And if it pops monsters, he'll gain more of attack boost plus the Wee Witch Apprentice. Obviously, Wee Witch Apprentice, Wee Witch Apprentice can attack. But regardless, you already have more than 10,000 damage on the board right here, which is insane. If you're missing a couple more damage, you can technically banish the, um, you can banish the second Mali from your graveyard. To special in the third Mali uh, directly from the deck, and Mali will gain 500 attack, which makes him 1300. So you can just easily just push for a game right there if you uh, have that situation with super polymerization. It's really important to play super polymerization because this deck can utilize that card the best. The only downside about super poly is that you can't go into Cross Crusader, and that's how you basically play around without having to go into Cross Crusader. And nonetheless, this right here is still OTK. Okay, guys, let's go with a test hand for going first. All right, let's see it on what the Yu-Gi-Oh gods can give me if I were to go first with this deck or if my opponent forced me to go first. So let's say I did lose a die roll and my opponent says, Sam, you go first. Let's see what hand the Yu-Gi-Oh gods provided me today with going first. So, all right, without further ado, let's begin. All right, we're gonna cut the deck. All right, let's draw our five. Two, three, four, five. All right, this hand, really good. Hand is very, very awesome. Okay, for going first. So let's see what we can do with this hand. All right. So going first, I want to try to I want to try to I want to try to set up plasma and dark law as quickly as possible. So we're gonna move this out of my hand because this is not gonna do anything going first. So we're basically playing with four cards right here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna send Shadow Mist to the graveyard, especially some Vision Hero Fairs. Okay. Um. Actually, no. Let's no 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 no. This this is a dead card in my hand. Okay, so we're gonna send increase to the graveyard to special and Ferris. Okay, activate Ferris effect. Uh, send the increase right here. Where's the increase? Send the increase right here to the spawn trap card zone. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna tribute the Ferris. Uh, activate increase effect. Uh, yeah, activate increase effect. Summon Vision Hero Vion. Activate Vion's uh, activate Vion's effect. Uh, activate Vion's effect. We're gonna dump Malicious to the graveyard. An active violence effect, banish the Ferris. We're gonna search polymerization uh, directly from our deck to our hand. Now we can link these two for the Cross Crusader, activate Crusader's effect, uh, special in Manly from the graveyard, activate Crusader's effect, tribute the Manly. We can search shadows directly from our deck to our hand. Now we can go banish Manly, again, special man. Another Mali. Cool, we haven't normal summon yet, so we can normal summon straddles. Activate straddles effect. We can search plasma, uh, which is really good. Activate mass change. Send Mali to the graveyard, uh, which is really good. So make dark law. Banish the second Mali. Special summon the third Mali. And now we can go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I just should be with these. I can special in plasma. Uh, which is really good. This is what I would do. Yeah, this makes the most sense to my eyes. I think this makes perfect sense because the reason why I did that is because I have Shadow Mist in my head. So if my opponent were to try to do anything, try to break my board, I can always super poly them. So this is what I would do. 
Okay, so I have a Plasma and Dark Law set up with two cards in my hand, and also with a Super Polymerization set. So what I would do is that on my opponent's turn, if they try to do something, they try to build a board, I can easily just go Super Polymerization, and discard the Shadow Mist, discard the Shadow Mist, use the two monsters that they have. The monsters will get banished, by the way, to make like a Starving Venom fusion, or the Predator Plant fusion, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I make that. Yeah, so I make that. Shadow Mist gets sent to the graveyard, and Shadow Mist can search me. Uh, and Shadow Mist can search me on Honest Neals directly from my deck to my hand to just even further protect the Plasma and also the Dark Law uh, as well, right? So, and that's something that I would do. Like, I, I think it makes the most sense if I were to go first to just set up something like this, especially if I have Super Polymerization. So, what do you guys think about my line of play? Do you think that was correct? I truly think. That was probably the most correct thing to do. I know that this video kind of took long, but I want to give you guys a whole insight on some of the cool things you guys can actually do uh, with this deck. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure you guys get your playmat today in the link in the description box below. Today is the last day to get the playmat, so make sure you guys use the coupon code TSX10 to get 10% off on your Straddles playmat. And after today, this playmat will, not, will no longer be restocked. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. And this is your boy Sam from Team of China. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Squad, go. Run it out.